Hello guys, welcome back. So, we kind of have an application going where it re uh, writes to the screen, hello world, and then stops. Now, let's just talk about a bit more of our surrounding or what's going on. So, so far we said that this is our main project or everything that happens in our code is going to happen within these two curly braces, right? And that's what happened. Now, second thing we said was C Sharp is an object-oriented programming. Now, every object is going to be this thing called class. So the project itself, which we, we called it uh, Brand New Life, is also going to have a object and everything. And in this case, the object of starting the application, right? We're going to come back to this further on when we start OOP. I just want to give you a bigger sense of the bigger picture. Now, namespace, brand new life, you could think of that as the location of where that is. So if you think about it, um, there, could be, there could be two Montreals, right? I'm currently situated in a city called Montreal, or let's start with New York. Well, no, Montreal is good, okay? So there's a city Montreal in Canada, Quebec, and there's another Montreal in somewhere in the States. And another Montreal somewhere else. Now what the namespace would do would say, well, this one is from Canada, this one is from USA, and etc. Why? Well, because a lot of people are going to name a lot of things the same thing and we want to use their code. Because why reinvent the wheel when someone already did it for you? And there's going to happen a lot of times because there's so much stuff out there. Now, okay, fine. I want to use this other person's code that we just talked about. Well, this is where using comes in. Using is basically saying, hey, go use this code and be able to do stuff with it. So in this case, we're using someone's code c called system, and that allows us to do a bunch of stuff, all right? If we remove the, uh, the system, we might get some errors. Let's check if I could get some errors. Save that. You'll notice this red squiggly line coming up. If we put our mouse over it, let's see. It would say error, the name console does not exist in the current context. Well, why doesn't it exist? Well, because it doesn't understand what a console is. So there's actually a lot of code that's being done in the system that tells us what console is and gives us all this functionality that makes our life so magnificent. Magnificent, right? Magnificent. There we go. Okay, so this is kind of a scope. Later on, we'll add a couple more using. We would say using and put something in there and use other people's code. Uh, we'll never change the namespace. So for this project, we're going to keep it always brand new life. We might eventually, as we go much, much more deeper after OOP and so forth, so on, we might do something with that. I would say, don't worry about this. Just keep it the same always. It's not so fundamental. The, the things you need to learn is actually the language itself a tiny bit and OOP concept not this itself. The class, we're going to talk about it a lot when we start OOP. This is how we make objects. And the next few lectures, we're going to start doing some code, all right? See you guys then. Cheers.